I'm glad to be back. What was the hardest part of the last two and a half years for you? Struggling to to find out and to see how I'll come back with no certainty. Uh, no certainty that I will be able to come back and get my health back. That was the toughest down point. Once I knew I could and I could get the health and the food that I needed and, and come back, that line opened and, and it was a lot more positive. Um, other than that, it, it was tough sitting on the sidelines for two and a half years, you know, watching the sport. I'm a big fan of the sport, but I've always been a fan and a fighter. So just having to be a fan after you've had 12 fights in the UFC is a tough thing to do. Sure. Of course, ring rust is the obvious question. What do you think about that? I don't know. People always ask me that. I don't know how to answer because I've never dealt with a two and a half year layoff. I'll let you know Sunday. Yeah. Was it an esophagus issue or it took a while to figure out what exactly was going on? I had, well, what it ended up being is esophageal spasm with some complications, minor other stuff like acid reflux. But okay. I was misdiagnosed with GERD and uh, dyspepsia and a bunch of other things, which led into more problems because then they were putting me on all this medicine that I didn't need to take. So here I am taking fights, fighting fights on all these medicines, trying to get on them and off them to, in time for the fight. Um, they were doing experimental treatments. They were shooting my uh, esophagus with Botox, trying to kill the muscles or, wow. or deaden them so that they were relaxed. So I went through it all, man. And like it's just been a, 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 a up and down battle. I think a lot of Americans can sympathize with that kind of craziness of getting misdiagnosed in medicines and all that. So, you know, congrats for getting back here and, and ready to go again. Thanks, man. You know, I think a lot of people have some form of, of these things, you know, whether it be just Pepsi or, or, or esophageal spasm. So I just want to show that you can push through it and, and, and do research online and figure out the diet that you need to be on and, and get the nutrients you need to compete at this level. And, you know, I think a great performance on Saturday night will, will give hope to people that if I can do that, they can find ways to make just their normal life not be an athletic. Yeah. You know? How has your diet changed? Uh, completely, because, you know, I've had to supplement in protein. I've had to... Uh, eat a lot more vegetables. A lot of the stuff I didn't do before. You know, I never was big into vegetables and all the health stuff. Now I'm eating stuff like quinoa, wheat germ, and kale, and all the stuff I didn't even know existed before. Well, it shows in your body, man. You're looking pretty shredded out there. Thanks, man. You know, I yeah. I mean, that's all I'm eating. It's just pure health food. So I'm not eating anything extra. Nothing fat. Nothing uh, bad. Everything is just as clean as possible. And the downside is I can't have the fun foods, the fast foods like I used to have. But the, the upside is I feel great, man. My sleep's better, my, my body's better, I, I feel in great shape. Who have been the main uh, sparring partners for you up there? Uh, for this camp, uh, Josh Thompson's been a big one um, because of his speed and technique. It's been great because uh, the guy's so good, you know. Uh, this guy Reese is a, a little bit taller, longer, a really tough kid um, to kind of emulate uh, DeMarcus' body type. Uh, a lot of the wrestlers, and a lot of them come through. Guys. I mean, we always train together with everyone. So. Safe to say you want to, you know, you feel like your biggest advantage is in the stand-up in this fight? Um, no, I, I think my, my I mean, I see advantage everywhere. Uh, I can get the fight in, in, in my advantage in any particular area of the fight. I mean, I've been working a lot on wrestling, a lot on, on my ground over the last couple of years. Um, I just don't choose to use it unless I have to. You know, I want to get the knockout. That, that's my style. Um, that seems to be DeMarcus' style. And if we hold true to our styles, man, it's going to be fireworks. Right. Yeah, he says he wants to come out and just throw, throw leather, man, and just throw hands pretty much the whole time, making an exciting fight. I have lots. Yeah, well, I, was, I hope he does nothing but that. I was asking him questions earlier, and it seemed he almost is mentally neglectful of any other part of the game. I, I mentioned your Swickatine and you know your, your submission guillotine wins and stuff, and it seems like mentally he's just expecting the brawl. So you know, I, I don't know what you take of that, but uh, if you just want the brawl, I think you could go for that. And if you wanted to develop in other aspects of MMA, I think you could potentially do that as well. Yeah, you know, you never know from what people say. I mean, I've had people say they're going to strike with me just like this, and they come out and try and take me down. Um, or in NF, had the guys come out and strike. You know, you really don't know until the fight starts. But we are prepared for everything. So we're prepared if he tries to clinch, uh, if he's trying to throw flying Ds, his unorthodox punches, um, elbows. Whatever he's going to do, we, we've prepared as well as we could for it, and we should be ready. What, what would you say is the X factor? The X factor for me to win? Um, I think for me just to show up and, 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 and do my game plan, you know, be aggressive, fast, try to get him off his game plan, take control of the fight, take control of momentum, and take the fight where I want it to go. And I think that's very important. Which, I mean, obviously you don't want to be on bottom, I guess. It's either standing or on top. Sure. Yeah, no, I don't want to be on bottom. Um, yeah, definitely.
Uh, you said, 99% of the time, most fighters, yeah. Standing or on top. You've been out for over two years yeah. now, you're coming back to fighting. Are they going to bring back real quick to Mike Swick on UFC.com? I don't know, man, you know. Who knows? Who knows? Let's focus on this fight right now, but, man, yeah, it was some good times. Uh, was there ever, ever any doubt in your mind that you'd make it back here, or were you always determined to get back to this level? It's hard to say doubt, man, because I always want to help in a different way, and I always feel I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Mike, in a video uh, released, I think, yesterday or the day before, Josh Koshek said something about AKA where he, he was hoping it would burn to the ground. Uh, I don't know how close you are with your relationship with him in the of today. I was wondering if you could get a comment on that. Yeah, you know, I'm not really that close with him. Um, I've never really been that close with him. So, I mean, we've been trained together. He just always has his own thing going, and I just try to stay away from him. You know, it has nothing to do with the me. You know, Javier Mendes is a great coach, a great leader of our team. He's a champion after champion, star after star. And we have a good thing at our gym. And no matter what Koscheck says, he's not taken away from the fact that we have a great team out there. And we're all having fun. We're all competing. We're all doing well. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know? I spent a couple day, uh, days sparring and rolling and training with uh, the pros at AKA last month. Um, how's the new jiu-jitsu instructor? Do you like his style? It seemed, you know, a little different. Is that something you, you like that's going on? And then, uh, you know, of course, you got Crazy Bob kind of oversees things too. Yeah, we brought Leandro Vieira in, and uh, he's a great jiu-jitsu guy, you know? And it's, it's a weird coincidence because when I was in Brazil uh, in training, I trained with his brother, Kiko. And so I kind of knew his family and, and all the guys they trained with. And, I had so much fun and those guys were so good. And so when I came back and found out Leander was going to be our instructor, I, I knew we had top quality jiu-jitsu. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Some interesting yeah. transitional processes, KC and all that. So. Yeah. I'll tell you about Okay. That. <laughs> um, That's Mike, our secret. First, what's your favorite uh, Texas barbecue? And what's it like just to be back at like open workouts and being here? You know, I haven't fought in two and a half years, so just to be here again. Now, uh, my favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse. But I can't have barbecue sauce. Okay. But uh, man, it feels great to be here. Absolutely, it's my dream come true again. You know, I I thought my career was over, and, and here I am fighting live on Fox. So uh, I think it's gonna be back. Mike, since you've been out for so long, I'm sure like you, you feel like kind of like a caged animal. You're afraid to let loose. How conscious do you have to be? You know, in the opening minutes that you don't expend all your energy and you still have fuel in the tank for later. Man, I mean, you never know what can happen, but I am extremely confident in my cardio. I mean, we work so hard for this fight. I mean, I can't, you say it and it may happen, you never know, but I can't imagine getting tired in, in any capacity of 15 minutes. So, um, I'm going to push the pace, and I'm going to be aggressive. You feel you can let your hand speed go, I mean. I feel I can, that's all I've been doing. I feel I can let my hand speed go, I can be aggressive, and I can expend that energy, and if it wins the fight, that's great. If it doesn't, I, I can go 15 minutes. I mean, I probably have never been as confident in my, in my cardio as I am for this fight. Awesome. Just because of how good I've been eating and how hard we've been training. Plus, I've been trying to not get injured, so I put a bigger emphasis on doing cardio over the crazy stuff that's kind of like injure my body. So, a lot of running, a lot of bike, um, a lot of grappling, uh, you know, all the our, our circuit drills that we do that are brutally hard. We do tons of those, so I feel really good cardio. And my heart rate's the lowest it's ever been. I mean, I'm mid 40s, and, and I walk around mid 60s all season, so I've mean, dropped 20 beats a minute. Your resting heart rate's mid 40s? Mid 40s, yeah. so that doesn't tell there's you. There's only one other guy in MMA that's that's ever had anything even remotely like that, uh, Ryan McGivern. Yeah. I mean, that's unheard of. Most guys are in the 60s, 70s. I'll tell you, my it's literally. It was this morning, I, I had 47 was what I, I hit 47. I guess you're in shape, brother. So, I, I must be, you know, I've got it down, I've got it down to low 50s. That's always where I know like I'm in shape. This is the first camp I've ever had 47, 48. Wow. Mike, a lot of guys have been injured and out for a long time, and a lot of times it's out of sight, out of mind, but when it was announced that you were coming back, a lot of the fans got really excited and they're really pulling for you. Have you noticed the, them rallying behind you? Yeah, man, it's amazing because I've, I've had a lot of support over this time. Um, 
um, which I really appreciate. But since they announced this fight, like it, people came out of the woodwork, you know, and it seems really genuine and like it means the world to me. You know? It means the world that people care and you know, people are supporting me and they want to see me win. And all my friends and family as well. You know, this is on live TV. They're all gonna watch. So I'm just excited to to be back fighting and, and, and making them proud and you know, making them excited again. Do you still lurk the underground at all? I do go every once in a while, yeah. I always, every day I check the main page, because it's like all the top yeah. times. Um, and then sometimes I'll venture into the forums. Now leading into the fight, I try to stay away stay more away because it's yeah, clear, yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. Okay, thanks, Mike.